Hello and welcome to Improve Your Voice. Today I start work on a TV series in which I have to play an American CIA agent and I've been working on an accent which is uh, from the States and so I've been putting together my accent which is going to have derived from somewhere in the States. I I've used an American accent many times before. I did my self tape for the job at in an American accent but it was a bit generalized and so today I wanted to kind of go over some of the things that I should be aware of so that I don't trip up and make it sound more English. Uh, basically, I, I want to be consistent throughout and it, no matter what decision I make, I want it to be, that's how he sounds. Now, America's a huge place and there's many different accents. So when people say general American, they could mean anything from New York to Florida to Tennessee to, I don't know, Compton. Like, it's a big place and so, you got to be specific, and I'm looking somewhere southeast-ish, like Florida, and I think that's kind of a, it, it. It opens it up. I mean, some parts of Florida sound very similar to some parts of California, um, but the subtleties are there. So there's an online resource called Idea, the International Dialects of English Archive, and basically over the years, these people have of recorded people reading the same kind of text in order to um, create a catalogue, if you like, a library of voices speaking the same l words in order for you to get a good understanding of how each person says things differently. So I've been using this and, it, and it's, it's really interesting, it's great. Um, but I'm gonna, I've been looking at one of someone who is from Jackson, Tennessee, but I've also been looking at ones from people from Florida and there's so many to choose from and, and each one has different men and different women speaking it and they're all different ages and they're recorded in different times. So again, even people from the same town sound different if there's 10, 20 years apart or if they were born in a different you know place or moved there. So it's pretty tricky and I have to kind of narrow it down so I'm happy with it. So I want to stick with kind of what I already have and just double check some of the sounds to make sure I got it right. Now, so the first thing I noticed and, and that I already know that I'm going to approach with the accent before I've gone into specific details is that of air placement and kind of where is it that um, sound seems to kind of dwell as you create sound. Now that sounds a little bit as you speak, now that might sound a little strange, but my own accent, naturally when I speak, the words bounce off my hard palate, uh -huh, and out. It's quite barky, it's quite sharp. And if I smooth that off and make it more RP, then it actually comes, tends to come just behind my top teeth and the gum ridge, and therefore makes everything a bit smaller. And it sort of changes the, my physicality of my mouth, my articulators. But for this, and for a lot of American accents, there's, there's a real tendency to keep it back here and up into the nose. So it's kind of a, th um, I guess, oro-nasopharynx placement. So rather than speaking to you the way I am here, I'm, uh, I'm actually back here like that. And so there's a whole different thing going on. And what I find is when I do this, I have to really uh, uh, put some energy into it. For me, it's difficult to do that, especially at first. So. Uh, uh. So keeping that in mind, I want to also look at other points that are different to my own accent. And one of them is the R sounds. American accents, most of them at least, tend to be rhotic, which means they pronounce every single R that's there. Like I didn't even pronounce R then, R, R. So they curl the R, you hear the R. But in my accent, I don't do that. So, um, Unless it's, a, unless it's a linking word, far away. Otherwise I'd say far. Near or far. Near or far. Not near or far. So there's another difference. So those two small things, that placement and the R, really, really, really make a difference. Now it, it could be that I'm speaking more as if I have a generalized American accent. Or I may want to put in something that's a bit more twang, somewhere like Tennessee or uh, some of the southern mid-states, but I'm not too sure about that because there's so many of them and I would be generalized. So I, 
so so I want to keep it maybe uh, in a place that's that is a bit more open and one of those accents that accents that you could consider as general American if you're a Brit or somewhere from abroad abroad um, next we want to look at the vowels because sometimes if we say a e i o u in English or at least my accent um, a is a diphthong e i o u so they all have a kind of a thing like that but does it happen the same in these accents let's have a listen a e i o u it seems to be less of a root journey between that a and a it's there but it, it's much more subtler um e e e i i o o o o u you you what happens is when you're putting the placement back in your throat more it's different uh, you create a different sound and you create different your lips do something different and your tongue does something different so what i'm going to do i'm going to take a line from this website and, and there's a there's a script called comma gets a cure which was designed by um let's have a look douglas n honoroff jill mccullough and barbara somerville and they designed this 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 piece of text and this little story called comma gets a cure in order to cover all the sounds or the phonemes if you like that you might pronounce if you were speaking and there's there's they've taken out specific words and made them into what's called lexical sets so sets of words that go together and so by going through those sets of words you can sort of see where you're tripping up and where you're not being so accurate and that's what i'm going to do i'm going to go through the text um, uh, for now i'll just read the first line you can find this this text online comma gets a cure and it's quite useful because it goes through so many of the sounds it's useful if you if you want to do an accent so well uh, first in my own accent well here's a story for you sarah perry was a veterinary nurse who had been working daily at an old zoo in a deserted district of the territory so she was very happy to start a new job at a superb private practice in north square near the duke street tower so now just considering the placement and the r's and perhaps keeping those vowels a little bit simpler than my own and not to make the journey so diphthongy uh i'm gonna tr i'm gonna try it in, a, in just a very simple way well here's a story for you sarah perry was a veterinary nurse who had been nurse 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 so nurse is the first lexical set um er 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 sound My, the way i say it is er uh, nurse 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 because i have to curl that r and that's difficult for me and place the er uh, back further in the throat and less er uh, forward well here's a story for you sarah perry was a veterinary nurse who had been working daily at an old zoo in a dis in a deserted district of the territory as you can see I, i've got a tendency to bring my placement forward and send the air forward i've got to really keep it back here but push more use my diaphragm it feels a, a little bit more in order to keep the words flowing otherwise they, they get stuck here so i'll go again well here's a story for you sarah perry was a veterinary nurse who had been working daily at an old zoo in a deserted district of the territory so she was very happy to start a new job at a superb private practice in North Square near the Duke Street Tower. And already it sounds a lot more American than I did at the beginning. Um, so let, let's take one of the difficult words, the word nurse, and find my lexical sets for that. So within the script, um, there are a bunch of words and they've got kit, dress, strut, face, goat, um, Price, choice, mouth, near, square, cure, tour, foot, goose, fleece, nurse, trap, bath, palm, and start, lot, cloth, thought, north, and force. So that's a lot of words to get through, right? That's a lot of different things because each one has a whole list of of of, of sounds which I've got to try and make work the same. So, nurse, er, uh, I've got to start going, nur, er, nurse, usurp, hurt, church, turf, purse, curb, curd, urge, curve, furs, turn, curl, spur, 
occurred. See that R sound, it's really difficult for me to do that R sound because I don't practice it, I don't, like, I don't use it in my own accent. So really keeping that moving and, and curling is a new for me. Um, so what I'm gonna do is continue them with my own little trick, my finger in my mouth, which makes it a bit harder and makes the articulators work more. So then hopefully it will become easier when I, when I get through it. Uh, occurred, burned, burst, murder, further, mur, myrtle, burn, shirk, irk, birch, bird, bird, dirge, firm, girl, first, jerk, first, cure, virtue, twerp, assert, jerk, perch, surf, birth, terse, verb, emerge, nerve, term, sturm, deter, er, preferred, 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 certain, 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 person, immersion, emergency, kernel, earth, dearth, hearse, search, heard, earn, yearn, earl, pearl, rehearsal, early, earnest. Wow, these are tough. Okay, so uh, as you can hear, I go through those, go through that, and what I would do, and I suggest if you're doing it yourself, is to record yourself going through those and listen to one of the recordings on the website, on the IDEA website, and that website is called the Dialects archive.com and I won't play it because of copyright reasons but you can check it out for yourself and you can listen through different people speaking the accent to get to get it from so <clears throat> I'm gonna now go through all of these for example the next one is trap I can't say trap 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 oh yeah I've got to pronounce that R trap 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 cat batch gaff Maths, mass, dash, cash, mad, rag, badge, have, jazz, ham, man, hang, shall, scalp, lamb, and hand, thank, lapse, tax. So what I've just realized was I was too in my throat and I need to put it more into my nose. Uh, and that has helped me discover that just by doing that. Arrow, carriage, banner, abbey, tassel, cancel, panda. So if I go back to the nurse sounds, usurp, Herd, church, turf, purse, curb, curd, urge, curve, furs. I can hear now already that it's a bit better because I put it more in my nose. Um, and so you're really kind of using a lot of effort from the diaphragm, I feel, and sending the air up through the nose, but not too much. And it's a bit in the throat. It's kind of it's like here somewhere. Um, and that might be hard to understand, but that's how I'm understanding it. You know, you've got to find what works for you. And again, like, Find one or two words and then go through the sets which you can find on that website. And next one is bath. I'd say bath, bath, but in America the R sound is like ah, ah, but at least in the accent I'm doing. Bath, 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 staff, giraffe, path, laugh, brass, class, glass, grass, grass, pass, raft, craft, graft, daft, shaft, aft, half, draft, clasp, gasp. Now if I were to actually do something more along the lines of Tennessee, staff, giraffe, there's more diphthong, so there's more of a movement in them. Staff, giraffe, path, laugh, brass, class, class, grass, pass. Okay, but I'm not doing that accent. Well, I might do because the director might ask me to do that. And better to be ready than not. But yeah, so then I've got palm, ah, uh, palm, Pam, p palm, palm. That's palm. Okay, palm, palm. So bath, palm, calm, balm, psalm, um, father, 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 father. So the ah uh, is is in that. Start, far, start, bar, bizarre, sharp, or bath, start, bath, start. Lot, stop, put, stock, notch, goth, rob, rob, the ah sound, as in lot, oh. So in my accent, lot, oh, stop, pot, stock, notch, goth is more stop, pot, sock, lotch, notch. It's a bit longer, it's a bit drawn out, so lot is quite quick for me, lot, ah. Ah, it's kind of extended, it seems, in this accent. Cloth, again, cloth, 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 cloth. 
thought, north, north, north. Okay, so again, thought, thought, north, north. Force, force. Foot, foot. Ah, so foot, foot, put, put, puss, bush, full, put, put, loop, shoot. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of that. Like I said, the dialectsarchive.com is the place to go. You can listen to other people's accents and hear them go through that whole comma gets a cure script. And then you can pick out those, those individual words and work through them list by list. Record yourself, listen back, Remember the placement is one of the most important things I feel, especially um, as you know that that placement is is kind of more common, it, like throughout the U.S. than it is perhaps in Europe, and so uh, really really take note of that if you're not from the states and you want to do an American accent, especially if you're from England, um, because we get caught up pushing our our, our vowels and energy forward when we speak and it's bringing it back here yet still sending energy out at the same time and that's the trickiest part and then of course continuing with those r sounds so those are only a couple of things really i'm not going too much into detail but i just had to go over that and so now i feel more comfortable that today i can go ahead and do some filming uh safe in the knowledge that I've done the work and I'll do some more work now, but I'm not gonna share that with you because it's gonna be boring and it's from the script and it's not out yet, so you can't see that. Okay, so have a nice day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll keep practicing, you keep practicing. Check out those websites and if you enjoy what you see, you can buy me a coffee, buy me a book. There's a little donation button below. Thank you so much. Also, if you want to subscribe, you may do that. And if you like to give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down, I don't mind. It's great for the algorithm either way. I will see you next time. I'm Darren McStay. This is Improve Your Voice. And until the next time, look after your voice.